Welcome to the very first episode of All Around the Nerdiverse, where we bring you a slew of the news from the last few weeks. We are going to kick things off here today with everything DC related, starting with the movies. Lex Luthor, Martha Kent, and Queen Hippolyta have all been confirmed for DC's Justice League film. It is said the Justice League will kick off with a flashback sequence highlighting the mother boxes being divided between the humans, the Atlanteans, and the Amazons. This is likely where Queen Hippolyta will be cameoed. Henry Cavill and Dwayne Johnson shared a photo together with the hashtag DC Worlds Will Collide, possibly hinting at Superman having some sort of role in Shazam or Black Adam having some sort of role in Justice League and or Man of Steel sequel. The following week, Dwayne Johnson met with DC executives to discuss the Shazam film and other DC Cinematic Universe projects. The Green Lantern Corps film will be penned by David S. Goyer and Justin Rhodes, with Jeff Johns and John Berg executive producing. The film will primarily focus on Hal Jordan and John Stewart, and will be a quote-unquote lethal weapon in space film. A quote from Chris Pine to French magazine publication Studio Cine Live confirms that Ares is a villain in the Wonder Woman movie from Patty Jenkins. Cersei has been rumored for quite some time to be at Ares' side, but it is yet to be confirmed nor has it been disavowed. Justice League Dark will be hosting premieres in both Los Angeles and New York. Limited tickets are available to the public and details on how to receive the tickets will be in the description below. While on the topic of Matt Ryan, with Vampire Diaries ending and their time slot being open in 2017, CW executives were considering filling the slot with a revival of NBC's Constantine. With Matt Ryan's schedule finally opening up from his Broadway production, and Friday being the only night not holding a DC show, it seemed likely. However, it seems that Constantine will have a 5-6 to six episode season on CW Seed. Like Vixen, it will be animated. Episodes will run at 10 minute lengths and exist in the same universe as Supergirl, The Flash, Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow. And yes, Matt Ryan will indeed voice John Constantine. The CW has released the first photos from The Flash, episode 3.10, which gives us a first look at Stephen Huzar as the expert marksman Plunder, which can be viewed on our Twitter. Black Flash is confirmed to be returning to The Flash and multiple other DC shows later this season. The Flash episodes 13 and 14 will host a two-part story arc revolving around Gorilla Grodd, and we will be seeing a second sentient gorilla named Salivar, which if you are familiar with the comics would know that he is the leader of Gorilla City. One of the episodes will take place in Gorilla City, and the other will take place in Central City on Earth-1. The Flash news doesn't end there, as the villain of the Supergirl and the Flash musical crossover has been confirmed to be famed Batman villain, the Music Meister. Plus, while being interviewed about the upcoming fourth season of Prison Break, Wentworth Miller confirmed that his return to Legends of Tomorrow would be the work of a speedster and that Captain Cold would once more be a heel. The CW has also renewed The Flash, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, as well as Supernatural, Jane the Virgin, and Crazy Ex-Girlfriend for 2017-2018 seasons. DC TV News doesn't end with the CW, as the trailer for NBC and DC's workplace comedy Powerless has dropped, and it can be found on our Twitter. And in DC Comics, the Teen Titans meet a new nemesis, Demon's Fist's lead assassin, daughter of Dushan al Ghul, granddaughter of Rash al Ghul, and cousin of Damian Wayne, Mara al Ghul. We also got word that the Suicide Squad co-op based game where friends would team up to take on contracts is now officially cancelled and being replaced with a more linear Damian Wayne focused game and that the main villain will be the Penguin. As far as video games go, it has come to our attention that not many people were aware of the release of Telltale Games' third season of The Walking Dead, titled A New Frontier. So if you were one of those that was misinformed, the trailer can be found on our Facebook page and the game is available now for purchase. The LEGO City Undercover trailer 
finally dropped, and it can be found on our Twitter. TMNT Mutants in Manhattan gets digital license pulled, making a new Turtles development a possibility, especially since it was pulled after only 8 months. Usually when a game license is pulled after such short time, it means that the title is being shot to new developers. However, just because the game is being shot does not mean it will be made. Mass Effect Andromeda receives an official release date of March 21st, 2017, after Bioware employees received copies for the holidays and returned to work giving overwhelming feedback. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite set to release holiday 2017 well after the many events and new DLC on Street Fighter V for Street Fighter's 30th anniversary. The Spider-Man game in development on PlayStation 4 is reportedly going to feature a Spider-Man that is married, has a child, and will go up against the Green Goblin. As for Marvel news, recently Stan Lee has turned 94. James McAvoy, aka Professor X, has been confirmed for the New Mutants movie. Negasonic Teenage Warhead, Colossus, and Dovepinder the Taxi Driver will all be returning for Deadpool 2 alongside Cable and Domino. Lauren Donner says Channing Tatum is still attached to the Gambit movie, and Simon Kinberg says it will be a heist movie slash sexy thriller. Game of Thrones' Peter Dinklage, aka Tyrion Lannister, is being eyed for a quote-unquote key role in Avengers Infinity War. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. character Yo-Yo, aka Slingshot, has her own miniseries that can be watched in full for free on YouTube. The channel link can be found on our Twitter and Facebook page alongside a feature at video. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is set to reintroduce director Jeffrey Mace as the Patriot. Marvels and Humans is set to start filming in Chicago and Los Angeles in March. The roster will consist of Black Bolt, Medusa, Maximus, Karnak, Gorgon, Crystal, and Triton. Netflix The Defenders gets new first looks that can be viewed on our Twitter and our Facebook page, including an exclusive from Entertainment Weekly. Marvel Comics also brings us a new Defender series using the same roster as the Netflix adaption. This will be the first time in comics history that these characters will be brought together as the Defenders. Also in comic news, Image Comics is finally releasing the fourth and final issue of beloved Loose End series from Spider-Gwen co-creators Jason Latour and Rico Renzi along with their original three issues. And now we move on to Star Wars news. Carrie Fisher passed away leaving the world emotionally distraught and sadly we're not the only ones. Just one day later her mother Debbie Reynolds passed away as well presumably from the grief of her daughter's death. The world wondered what would become of the franchise. It has been confirmed that all of Leia's parts for Episode 8 had already been filmed. Recently, false reports came out claiming that they would CGI her in Episode 9, but Lucasfilms has come out and made it clear that they will not be doing that. But not all Star Wars news has been bad. We also learned that Woody Harrelson reportedly beat out Christian Bale to be Han Solo's mentor in the new Han Solo movie. This wouldn't be the first role Christian Bale fell short of within the Star Wars franchise, as he once auditioned for Anakin Skywalker as well. Boba Fett, a Star Wars film, reportedly set to start production in the near future, with at least a portion of the filming to be done at Pinewood Studios in London. Obi-Wan Kenobi is set to face off against Darth Maul in Star Wars Rebels. More sci-fi news with the Blade Runner 2047 trailer that can be found on our Twitter and Facebook page. And in horror news, a new still image from the latest It movie featuring Pennywise can be found on our Twitter. American Horror Story gets renewed for not one, but two more seasons at FX. Attack on Titan Season 2 trailer dropped and can be found on our Twitter. And Seth Rogen tweets a picture of the shooting script for Season 2 of Preacher, marking the start of production. Lastly, a second teaser trailer for Cars 3 has been released revealing two new characters and can be found on our Twitter.
Will Smith and Tom Hanks are up for a role in the live-action production of Dumbo from Tim Burton. And the trailer for the Chips film adaption is out and can be found on our Twitter. Shout out to Dax Shepard for dropping a like down on it. This is just a pinch of all the news out there. So if you like this and want more, help us out by dropping a like down below. Subscribe for all of our upcoming YouTube productions. And be sure to leave a comment down below to let us know what you think and what you're looking for. And don't forget to subscribe to our website, like our Facebook page, follow our Twitter, follow us on Instagram, and join us in our Facebook group using the links in the description below. This video was sponsored by North Comics. Go to norththecomic.ca using the link posted in the description below to get the first issue today. This video was brought to you by TNH Studios.